Tries to stop and deal one in front. A lot of red sweaters around, though, and the loose puck is smothered by Lauren Bailey. Lauren Bailey, the sophomore, 5'9", from Freeland, Michigan. You know, so far this year, a record of 3-1, a 2.72 goals against, and a 9-10 save percentage. Here's Carey with a pass off the wall for Ledlova, just out of her reach, but she chases it down, tries to cut to the goal, the backhand, shoots up, scores! Ledlova makes it one nothing. Robert Morris, the freshman from the Czech Republic, and it's one zip RMU. That's Ledlova's first career goal, like you said, Gero, from the Czech Republic, and she's been, you know, just seems to be steadily improving and adjusting to the college game as a freshman. And, that was a nice power move coming to the net. Just didn't go wide. Just took took the puck right to the net. Took the back end and didn't quite see where that that went through the legs, the five hole, or or where that puck went. But it made it to the back of the net. Mercy Hurst just kind of got the puck in the neutral zone, and looked up, and all she saw was herself in the net. It, Boy, I think that was Bailey who got in there. And what's going on here? Everybody stopped. What happened? Everybody stopped skating, and the Lakers said, well, we'll score a goal then. And sure enough, they do, and confusion on the ice for both teams. And the Colonials still looking around. Ladova just came out of the corner. I don't know if they thought there was a whistle or not. Turning shot, oh, and a good kick saved by Bailey on McCaskill, who found the puck high in the slot, just wheeled the shot. Trying to sneak one inside the post. Bailey has it stolen away by Hartwick, goes to the goal, backhander, and it misses the cage. Bailey selling out for that one. Out in front it comes, Horton can't settle it to shoot. And everybody's scrambling right now, so Bailey will just glove one well off the mark. And hang on for 15 seconds to go in this power play. The one-timer and a save made by Bailey. Tries to throw one in front. Well, with Kai again, blocked in front. Where's the puck? Down on the backside as Bailey squeezes the pads together and somehow has the puck frozen underneath. It's been a busy so afternoon so for Lauren Bailey in the between the pipes for Robert Morris. Both teams will change units. 132. Go back to Skinner. Sells it along the goal line. Tries to center to Kersey on the doorstep, but she's flattened by Garvey. Puck is cleared. A collision there. Lakers up and out. Look out. Here's a chance here. On the break. Skating in. Oh, and what a stop by Bailey, who's then run into by a Kersey who took the shot. A Kersey got behind the defense. And Bailey makes the save of the game. Yeah, another big save by Bailey as Kersey, a left-handed shot. Somehow got behind that colonial defense and used that body to leverage herself and get to the middle of the ice and Bailey just stretched out and that glove hand. Game saving. Oh, and a bouncing puck and Bailey again from her backside, able to find it with the glove and cover it up. Murphy looks. Waits, moves to her right. Murphy looks for room, drops it back. Howard comes to get it, and uh, penalty is over. Slap shot, score, Kirsten Wells, just as the penalty expired with a minute 53 left, and it's 2 1 Robert Moore. Wow, oh, and that puck came floating out to the point, and Howard had to hustle to keep it in, and Welsh had just come on the ice, and she interchanged with Howard to get on her one-time side, and Howard just set the table there with a nice feed, just floated it across, and Welsh just blasted that over the glove of Condry up into the corner of the net. Like you said, girl, just as time as it expired, it's two to one. Colonials, just a minute 53 now, left in the hockey oh, game. Wow, what a what shot from Welsh, but not Welsh. out of the woods now. And final score of two to one. Man, oh man, what a hard fought victory here this afternoon. Yeah, good battle here this afternoon as the Colonials get some revenge for that playoff loss last year.